Hey everyone, welcome to this video, where today we are outside what is supposed to be, yes, supposed to be the world's best, the world's best Mexican food buffet. So I really do enjoy some Mexican cuisine, and this is a very, very authentic Mexican cuisine in a all-you-can-eat buffet style. So there is so many different options. Before I tell you where this is, let's go in, let's have a look, then I'll give you some more info. And I tell you what, I am excited to give it a go. So let's head on in, let's have some fun, let's see if this is really the world's best Mexican buffet ever. All right, and to start, we have some friolas, we have some beans, we have some arrows, some rice, we have some beef and chicken fajitas, which look really nice. We have some, I believe those are called uh, like taquitas. And um, we have some tamales in the husk, which is awesome. We got some uh, unlisted meat over there, which looks really good. We have some uh, huevos ahogados. So we have some eggs in a kind of a sauce. We have some El Pastor, so we can make our own tacos. We have some uh, Napolitos, so some uh, cactus, as well as we have some chorizo. That is a uh, pork chop and uh, vegetables. We have some more rice, we have some corn, we have some jalapenos, we have some roasted onions, some cebolla. Here we have a whole bunch of um, different salsas, um, jalapenos, and everything. Kind of like, I'll call them like taco uh, fixings and or additions. And I mean, you know, look at all these salsas. We have a very, very wide variety, all, you know, arbols, habaneros, rojas, etc. Over here, we're going to start their soup. So we have a uh, caldo de res, so like a beef, uh, beef, beef soup, if I'm not, uh, beef soup. We have some pozole. I'm not sure what that one is there. It's not listed. But we also then have some seafood soup. We have some meatball soup. That looks like some more fish or seafood over there. We have uh, kind of some uh, onion rings, we have some flatas, we have some uh, nuggets, we have some of their little baked goods here. We have this lovely cold section which has um, ham, we have a chicken pasta, we have a tuna salad, we have an agua chiles which I love, it's like tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, uh, shrimp in a salsa verde. We do have some uh, Nepali, uh, Nepalitos, some uh, cactus salad. We have a uh, pork skin salad. We have a ceviche. We have the shrimp cocktail. I love this style shrimp cocktail. Shrimp and a pineapple salad. We have a pretty uh, you know, expensive pico de gallo, limes, savoya, uh, cabbage, kind of uh, fixings. Here we have some different fruits and uh, kind of uh, fruits uh, con crema, so some cream fruits. We do have uh, some fruits and vegetables in uh, chamoy, so they have jicama, they have pepino, which is cucumber, they have uh, pineapple, my favorite. I love pineapple in general. So here we have some uh, ground beef in a red salsa. That's another kind of ground beef dish there. This is sopa de canido, canido soup. Um, we have some egg dishes, we have some more um, meats in different salsas. Um, such as a pork in red sauce. Um, some of these are a like chicharron, like a, a skin, where some is more like the carne, the meat. Such as this, we have the pork in the arbol pepper, pork in green sauce, um, and you know just a red sauce. We'll go see what all those are on the other side. We have our chips. We have uh, chichar wheat chicharrones, they call them. We have uh, tostadas, which are well, those look like to me. So this is actually uh, yellow cheese or just queso. We have a, here's the pork skins, uh, like the chicharrones and a mocajete sauce. Pork and a pastilla pepper, that looks really delicious. Um, beef steak and an arbol sauce, I do love me some beef. Here's a ranchero beef steak, oh I know that is going to be delicious, I love that. Charo beans, so beans, and uh, yeah, so looking good. Hi everyone, so we made it in. So this is the Hacienda Buffet. Yes, Hacienda Buffet. Um, this is actually in Grand Prairie, Texas. Um, they also have a location in Fort Worth, Texas, but nonetheless, we're at this one today. I think this is the original location. Um, so I have a whole bunch of good things in front of me. I have some um, ceviches. I have some shrimp cocktail. I have some agua chiles, which I'm super excited to try. I have some extra cilantro, um, some jalapenos, some pico de gallo. I have a whole bunch of nice meats here. I have a pork and pastilla pepper. I have a chicken, which I think may Maybe it's in Chipotle. I actually didn't get to try it. I have a beef uh, uh, in a ranchero sauce, and I have a beef in a, a chili arbol sauce, and then I have some El Pastor and some taco fixings, as well as some uh, 
pasole, which I do love. It, and a, they uh, also make their tortillas here. So I got some, I think this is a flour tortilla. Hopefully I get some corn ones. But yeah, some hot, fresh tortillas. So I'm pumped. Let's get fighting. Let's get eating. So ceviche. So I, this is a fish ceviche. We got uh, cilantro. Mm. Tomatoes. Onions. It is good. That'd be really good with a little bit like a salsa, like a little addition. But I'm excited for it. So this is the agua chiles, guys. Basically like a salsa verde, a green salsa, shrimp, uh, cucumbers, onions. Mmm. Very good. I'm actually not the biggest shrimp person, but man, there's a time and a place where shrimp is really good. And this is one. Oh wow. And there's actually some heat to that. Mas picante. It's a lot spicier than I actually would have thought. I definitely enjoy a little bit of spice. All right, shrimp cocktail. So if you're not familiar with the style of a shrimp cocktail, um, this is lovely. There is some basically pico de gallo in it as well as the shrimp, but they put like a, a clamato in with the shrimp. So that's what the, the base is. It's, 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 a, it's a lot runnier base compared to, um, you know, like a straight up cocktail sauce. I'll try just by itself. Mm, okay, that is fire. Very, very, very good. Woo, love it. It's just so fresh. I love the acidity of that clamato. Oh, with that cilantro and the cucumber in there. That is perfect. I actually got some extra um, pico de gallo and uh, jalapeno, which I wanted to throw in there because I think with that jalapeno, it's going to be even better. And it's already very, very good. I'll put it that way. Wow, all right, let's give this a shot. That is exactly what I was looking for. I absolutely love that. That extra, just that little bit of extra crunch in there. That jalapeno, adding that little, little, little bit of heat. Just that true salty acidity of that clamada. Mm. Oh my gosh. And the fact that this is all you can eat, amazing. I am just getting started and I'm very impressed. Mm. We're definitely gonna be getting more of that. Before I get onto the uh, the uh, uh, soup there, the pozole, which I put a whole bunch of oregano, some uh, chili ar uh, arbles on it, I'm gonna make this little taco up. That was so, so, so good, that shrimp cocktail though. So I have some um, El Pastor meat here, which I'm just going to, not bad, I'll give it, I'll give it a bite first. So the El Pastor. I got some pickled jalapenos. This is my favorite way to have a taco. Taco, taco, be a little taco. I have some green salsa, like an avocado. I have a salsa verde. Mmm, avocado sauce is really good. I have a, what they call a mocha hefe sauce. And then this, which is a habanero salsa. Which I'm gonna try that. So let's try this little bite right here. There is some flavor in that. That's pretty dang good. El Pastor is not bad. As buffets go, if it's a little hotter, it'd probably be a little better. But I'll wait till, if I was gonna get any more, I'd wait till a new one came out. But the meantime, I have some Nepalis, Nepalitos, the uh, cooked cactus. Might be in, very, very good. All right, I'm gonna try some of these meats here. So this chicken, I think it was a chipotle chicken. Mmm, chipotle chicken. Tender. The sauce is not overly thick, but I like it. Good chipotle flavor, lots, lots of smoke. I almost need a spoon to actually, like, you know, get into some of these. Okay, that was delicious. Mm. When I use the spoon to get into the actual sauce, you get that smoky chipotle. Just a little, little bit of heat, like very, very mild. Milder even than the uh, aguachiles. Lovely. This is the pork and pastilla. Mmm. Okay, that is another good one. So the pork is nice and tender. Or it's, I'll put it this way, it's a very like porky tasting pork. Not in a bad way, but you can tell they're using probably like a, probably like a pork butt or a pork shoulder or something, which I really like. That's a really good richness to it. The pork definitely has some good fat content. That pastilla pepper is just very, um, mm, just warming. Very, very warming. A lovely spice, lovely flavor. Not not picante, not like spicy spice, but just like a lovely flavor. 
Here I have the beef in the uh, arbol. Tender, tender beef. Just falls apart. Mm. This is actually this is actually better than I expected. Mm. And here we have the beef rancho, rancho beef, which I'm super excited to try. Mm. Oh yes. Mm -mm -mm. So this is almost like a stew. They have some like potatoes in here, cooked down very soft. This would call it like a beef stew, but really good flavor overall. All right, last but not least in our first round, guys, I have the pozole. So I do got some oregano. I do have a whole bunch of arbol chilies in there, which I do like. Oh, that is good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, really, really nice and rich. Mm. That oregano. It's such a nice flavor. Again, I have all the arbol chilies in here. Definitely give it some nice spice. Mmm. Wow. That was like that's super impressive. Perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of seasoning. Um, with the arbols, I'm definitely getting a good spice to it. Of course, without it, it wouldn't be as spicy. That was beautiful. Again, that's another one I think I would get again. Very, very good. So let's go get some round two. All right, here, so for round two, um, I tried to really not get things that I already had. That was the only other thing. So uh, even though I wanted to go back and get some more um, pozole, and I wanted to get some more of that delicious um, sh uh, cocktail, sh shrimp cocktail, I tried to get some different items. So I have some uh, Nepalitos salad, so some cactus salad. I have a chipotle pork. I have a pork and a salsa verde. I got some more pico de gallo, uh, just kind of add, and some jalapenos just to add to some flavors. I did get this, which is, I don't know what this is, it's not listed, but it's definitely like a pork roast of some sort. Super soft, super tender, Let's try it. Oh wow, that is good, mmm. Oh wow, just fall apart, melt in your mouth. Woo, and savory, mmm, that was very good. They put out a new thing of these, uh, call them pork chops, so I have to try the pork chops. And then I have some of the beef fajitas and the chicken fajitas and a little bit of beans. So just give them all a shot. Try the beans just by itself. Good beans. Try this pork chop. Mmm. Wow. Really nice seasonings on it. A grill flavor, oregano almost, some salt, some paprika. Mmm. That seasoning. Amazing. I think when it comes to meats, that's one of my favorites so far. Beef fajitas, not bad. Lightly seasoned. Again, I think if they're a little, little hotter, it might be better. But chicken fajitas, nice flavor on it. Cooked peppers, onions, back to the pork roast. Mm. Definitely a great flavor. A little bit of spice to it. I don't know what exactly. I would say it's kind of like a pastilla kind of spice. That's good. Again, that pork chop, again, that's another one I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna have to get more of. Try this Napolitos cactus salad. It's more or less mixed with like pico de gallo. So good crunch. Very basic, but nothing wrong with that. Oh, this pico. Mmm, stars. I love a good pico. Just a little bit of jalapeno. Tomatoes and onion. Now, I know some people don't like cilantro. Let me know down below if you're not a cilantro person. Pork and salsa verde. Very rich piece of pork. It's nice and tender. Some real fat content to it. And last but not least is pork and the chipotle. This looks great. I love the chipotle chicken. Now this, unlike the chipotle chicken, this is a lot thicker and it's sticking to the pork. That is delicious. Mm. That's another keeper. This chipotle is almost so thick. The sauce, there's almost like a little bit of like a cheese flavor to this one. That is again really, really good. Nice flavorings on it. Oh, and by the way, drinks are actually included. They have uh, iced tea, Pepsi products, included in your about $20 price tag. Costs 19 bucks, $19, so. Let's go get some more. All right, so next round's here. Um, I'm still trying new items, but I think after this, I'm just gonna go back to the traditional. And I, and I admittingly, I'm kinda already went back to the, the original ones, or the, the ones I've had already. So I did get some more shrimp cocktail. I got a great big shrimp cocktail, but I loaded this with pico de gallo, 
I loaded this with extra jalapenos. So it's like almost like shrimp cocktail and salad, but this stuff was so good the first time. Mm, delicious. All right, some extra tomatoes, cucumbers. That's more salsa. Good, acidic. I think that's is a um, arbol, arbol, it's really arbol salsa. Then on this plate, I got, again, all new items. I have a uh, huevos and eggs in red salsa. Mm. Really nice flavor in that. I can get a chili arbol out of it. I did get some um, chicharrones or pork skins in a mocajete sauce. Mm. Man, if you've never had like a chicharron or a pork skin cooked like that, it is so tender, it is just fall apart. It's almost like, like it, it just melts in your mouth, it's almost like eating pudding. But you get that mouthful of fat. It's just like coats your mouth. Mm. You definitely don't eat too much of that, but that is really good. I did get some uh, chorizo here as well. Not bad. And I don't normally probably put that on a taco. I did get some uh, more tortillas, nice and hot. So I'll make some tacos next round. But I want to try the trio just by itself. Well, it's good. I like it. Definitely, you know, kind of your Mexican style petition at Trezo. I got some pork in a red sauce. Definitely, definitely. Solid, kind of what you expect. And this is a pork in a, I think it's a mocha hete sauce. It's actually pretty lightly flavored. Got me some grilled onions in there. I get some like pastillo peppers. No super strong, distinct flavor. Just a overall nice tasting dish. And I did get a tamale. This looks like a pork tamale. Um, I tell you, the way they have these in the uh, container, they're definitely falling apart. Definitely tender, nice and fatty. It is good, very soft, not bad. Again, a little, um, I think it's because of the, maybe like the buffet table, it's a little uh, little softer than I probably would have expected. Driving this shrimp cocktail, which I'm very excited for. Mm. Just as good as the first time. Like I said, that acidity, that cocktail, uh, the yeah, clamato, the clamato. Extra spice from the jalapenos, muy bien, me gusta. But like I said, I started going back to some of the items I had. Um, basically here, I got the uh, pork chops, which I really like. That was my favorite meat so far. Great flavor on it. Variety of different uh, salsas, being the avocado salsa, um, kind of this mixed house salsa. And then I went with some more of the pozole, which I love. You get lots of oregano in there, all my chili arbols. You got the corn, <laughs> and you have the uh, delicious tender pork. One thing I will do, Pork chop. Mm. Great seasoning on that. I'm gonna throw this on a tortilla since I have the lovely warm. Mm. Fresh tortillas. Put some of these grilled peppers and grilled onions as well. This is uh, with the, it's cooked in with the uh, pork chops. Some pickled jalapenos. And I'm gonna throw some of this avocado sauce on it. Nice and rich. All right, that's gonna be a bite. And I'll put a little bit of this, uh, this other sauce on. All right, let's, here we go. Very good. But these pork chops. Mm. So good. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna enjoy this bowl of pozole. And then I'm gonna go try out some of the fruits. The frutas. They have, like I said, they had all the uh, pineapple, the piña, the uh, piña con chamoy, the chamoy. Um, which is kind of like a plum, and they kind of make like a sauce out of it. Mm. So good. So yeah, I'll show you all the fruits. We'll dive into that. I'm sure I'll get another bite or two as well. Get something to make a uh, taco with the corn tortillas. Mm. Well, this stuff is fire. I'm gonna try adding just a little more salt to it. I don't think it needs it, but let's see what that's like. Okay, actually, wow. 
that little bit of additional salt. Mm. Mm -mm. So good. And you notice they have a salt shaker right on the table? That's because none of these items are very salted. All this cuisine, every item here, is really, um, mm. all the flavors are coming without salt, without sodium, which I think is the biggest difference between like more authentic Mexican style cuisine and a, more, more like Americanized. It's not a salt forward seasoning. It's just beautiful seasoning, spices, herbs. I love it. And those arbols are pretty spicy. This plate's pretty self-explanatory. I got some cantaloupe, some melon, which is a good taste in cantaloupe. Cantaloupe I find is so hit or miss. I like it. And when it's good, it's good. But otherwise, it's not that good. Let me know what you think of cantaloupe down below. Some honeydew, which actually looks pretty good. Let's try this out. Mm, that's a good honeydew. Nice and ripe. Try this pineapple. Mm. Oh my gosh. Everybody. Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits. Maybe, I think it's my favorite fruit. Mm. It is so ripe. Mm. Nothing beats a good pineapple. Fight me in the comments down below. I will say, pineapple does coat your mouth. Fun fact, it will actually change the flavor of items afterwards if you eat a lot of it. Now jicama, let's talk about jicama. So jicama is a root vegetable. It is crunchy, it's very like airy and crunchy, like soft but crunchy. It's actually like kind of like a radish in a way. But believe it or not, it's practically flavorless. Yes, absolutely, flavor, basically flavorless. But they'll put it like in chamoy. Sometimes they'll put it in like uh, mixes of different fruits and stuff. And uh, it just kind of adds a texture and a crunch. Pineapple and chamoy. Wow, that is a sweet, packful punch. So like I said, chamoy is like a red sauce. And so honestly, it's kind of like putting sugar on sugar. But that's pretty dang good. I'm gonna get some more like normal pineapple. And we gotta get something to have a taco. All right, it doesn't get much more straightforward than this. I've got some more pineapple. I got some more melon as well. I don't know what else I want. Glad to try at least a good variety of items. Man, this is fire. Let me get another plate, like one more. We've been eating for a while, so. Mm. We'll just get more pineapple. All right, and this will basically be my last. I might get a little more pineapple after, but that's really it. Um, so I got a couple of the, kind of my favorites, and then kind of some salad. So I got some, uh, the pork chop, because I love that so much. I'm gonna put a little more salt in it. It's nice and salty already, but. Mm. Great flavor. I really like that pork chop. I also got some more of that roast, that kind of pork roast, which there wasn't a name to it. The unnamed pork roast, which is very delicious. Great flavor. Like I said, definitely some pastilla pepper. It is so rich though. Like it is so, so, so fatty, so rich. Which is absolutely delicious, melt in your mouth, but you don't need too much of that. I have a tiny bit of the agua chilies, and then this is lettuce, cabbage, and pico, which I got chipotle, um, pork, and chicken here. I might try to put a little bit of this on there, see what that's like. I love the flavor of that sauce. Again, the one in the pork almost tastes like there's cheese in it, which is really weird, but I'll put it this way. If it's not cheese, it's like a, there's some kind of cream in it, you know what I mean? Some kind of dairy. There you go. Now I have a top salad. And the cabbage is like a fixing, like a lot of people put on like the menudo and the pozole. That is a great combo. This is actually super enjoyable. You get the crunch of the cabbage, the salad, and the lovely richness of that pork, chicken, and chipotle. So, so, so good. Huge pieces of pork in that uh, chipotle. 
That's a good buy. I don't think I gave us enough credit earlier. Or it being on the salad is making it even better. That's amazing. So good, weird combo, but very, very good. Well, that, that everybody, that was our experience today. It was definitely good, I enjoyed it. Really nice flavors, lots of different items. Definitely some real authentic Mexican cuisine, Mexican flavors. Definitely enjoyed it. I would definitely come back. I think um, coming at like a little busier time when there's a higher turnover rate on some of the items would probably be optimal. Um, so maybe like on a weekend or something, but yeah, definitely enjoyed it. Um, I, I think for the price, it's well worth it. I mean, we had our good fill. I'm gonna get probably a couple more pieces of pineapple, but that's about it. My camera is, uh, battery is about to die, so I think I'll just say goodbye. But uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you so much. The uh, staff been friendly. Um, I liked everything. Like I said, it was, it was good overall, very solid. I'll, uh, if I have any more feedback, I'll give it to you in mo just a moment. But yeah, no complaints. So if you're ever in the Grand Prairie and or Fort Worth area, I'd say it is a good place to stop by. You know, especially want a diverse, authentic Mexican cuisine experience. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was real good. So uh, that's about that. Like I said, if I have some more feedback, I'll give it to you momentarily. And not guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So of course, until next time, let me know if you liked it down below by liking that video, comment, subscribe. It does help the channel grow. And uh, that everyone, until next time, have a hungry, happy eating. Until next time, have a good day. everybody so let's keep it real so i actually been to the other location of la hacienda in fort worth texas on a saturday afternoon with my good friend oscar we had a great time the food was so fresh so hot they had such a high turnover rate and even the things that weren't turning over they just seemed to be um, really well kept and really like just perfect um, they had even more variety of like grill items they had like a grill that you could like, to order they had just everything was bigger and I'm gonna go as far to say better then I came to this location thinking it would be the same um, this is the Grand Prairie Texas and I will say honestly um, the food turnover was a lot less this was a Monday at dinner time so there was some traffic um, but long story short my experience here was not quite as pleasant it was still good but I got to say that Fort Worth location oh, really took it away. Ten times better. That's just my opinion. Hey, guess what? You rock. Yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.